Good morning, you guys. I look like a mess because I was up until like 3-ish in the morning watching um, 2521, this new Korean drama. And I'm still not finished with it. I started like two days ago. But yeah, I just was up all night trying to catch up on it before the new episode comes out Saturday. And yeah, the drama is so good. I just couldn't stop watching it yesterday. And it's really late. It's already like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, we were just like in bed for an hour. And also because I've been um, working out, so my body is just so sore and exhausted from the workouts. Uh, we are planning to go to the postal office because I need to um ship back my bridesmaid dress because me and my cousin order it out of all the other bridesmaid and it honestly looks horrible i will i will probably do a try on haul for you guys but i already like packaged it up i don't know um i will see if i want to show you guys or not i just like hate returning items because they take forever and um this vendor is based in china so the shipping is going to take a little bit longer and then i did order um, the new bridesmaid dress because we all agree on this one. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the day. first bridesmaid dress that we ordered and it didn't work out well and we did order off amazon too so if you guys seen this dress don't get it and if you guys are curious as to why it didn't work out well let me just show you guys the sizing says to order up a size larger and this is not the color champagne i mean on camera it might look champagne but it's more of like a rose gold champagne and they even admitted that they sent the wrong color which i'm just like well okay well how did you guys get my cousin and my order mixed up which was really strange because we both live in north carolina and they both sent us the exact same dress my cousin actually ordered two she ordered like her original size and then she ordered a size up and they sent her the same color like on the website we order a champagne but we both got rose gold which is really strange all right so i just found out something it was supposed to come with a string around the waist but i guess um she forgot to put it with the dress so fortunately i can't return it and it's also my fault too because I should have checked. But anyways, this is how the dress looks like. Let me use this string. So there's a lot of things wrong with this dress. First of all, you have to like clip it to like inside, which is not very secure. And the second thing is that shoulders right here, the hemming from the shoulders, it's very hard to like reach up without feeling like it's going to rip. Yeah, you guys obviously see me really uncomfortable. Uh, the chest part is just so big the padding is like all the way up here and first of all i don't know anybody's boobies that are all the way up here you guys the padding is up here so um yeah it's just a lot of wrong and when you sit down the whole chest part up here opens up so you're just exposed to the entire world but overall i mean the quality of this dress is good i don't know it doesn't really give wedding vibes i feel like it gives more like robe like lounging at home like fancy kind of vibes i don't know but um but yeah this is how it looks like and yeah this was a no-go from amazon so yeah let me try on the second one for you guys because that one is 
beautiful and it sparkles it's gorgeous so this is the dress that we all decided to go for it's super gorgeous i can't wait to actually see this at the wedding venue because there's a lot of sparkles on the dress it's beautiful and also it has a slit on the side i kind of wish the slit was a little bit higher i don't know i just feel like it would have looked cute that way but the slit is kind of low which I guess it's understandable it is a wedding but yeah this does come with like a string that i showed you guys earlier to wrap around your waistband um the only downfall that i would have to say about this dress is that it's a little bit see-through i'm honestly kind of sad that we didn't get to go like bridesmaid dress shopping because i would have loved to bring you guys along with me but um yeah we just all decided to get it online because champagne you guys it's a very, very hard color to shop for. Um, but anyways, I think I might just go to a cafe to catch up on some homework because I've just been on the couch watching my Korean dramas and it's just not been good. I have not been keeping up with um, my assignments at all. We just got done shooting some content for TikTok and I just wanted to show you guys like a few pictures that I might post on my Instagram too, but I really wanted to show you guys this video. I feel like it's kind of cringy now, like showing you guys. For some reason, this trend has just been going around where you just walk and show your outfit. Let me show you guys, cause Jeffrey did such a good job of being the camera guy. I mean, the video is only like six seconds. So yeah, let me show you guys the pictures and how it turned out. All right, so this is the video. I think it turned out so good. It's just, it's just so funny cause it's cringy. But um, yeah, these are some of the pictures pictures that I took oh it's not even focus um but yeah these are some of the pictures that I took I think it turned out well and again you guys like once you take pictures just keep posing and just keep doing your thing because eventually you'll find something but yeah we are currently on our way to a fried chicken place because we are starving and I also got to stop by super g mart to pick up a few things for dinner and stuff and then afterwards we're gonna go to the cafe to do some homework and Jeffrey's just gonna come along with me. So that's the plan. So I'll see you guys whenever we get there. but I wanted to show you guys what I ordered from Amazon and it is active wear because I need some new active wear clothes this is the first set I love it so freaking cute I love the color I feel like the bottoms are a little bit thin but they're not see-through which is really good um, but yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit too thin. I definitely will wear this set for like upper body days instead of my lower body. The bottoms fit me perfectly, but the top, I feel like it could be a little bit more, you know, supportive up here. But the straps are adjustable, so I probably just need to adjust that. But overall, it fits me perfectly. I love the color. I cannot wait for the blue one to come in, but okay. Now I'm going to try on these two together. But this is the second fit. Um... I do have a few things to say about the top and the bottom. So I like how supportive the top is, but the thing is that I don't really know why like every time I buy a sports bra, you can see the outlines of the padding, which I'm not a big fan of, but overall, I mean, it's not too bad. I love the fit of the bottoms. I love the design, the color, the compressive around the tummy. But the only thing I do have to say is that there's already string like starting to kind of pill and come out of the hemming which i don't know if it's gonna last me that long and then there's like this really weird line back here that goes down in the middle i don't know if you guys can see it 
but I don't know if it's supposed to give you like that scrunch booty uplifting effect, but I'm not a big fan of it. But overall, I really have nothing else to say about this. I think for like the past 30 minutes to an hour, I just been looking at uh, decorations for my sister's bachelorette trip and we're planning to go to the beach for a weekend. But the thing is that I know she isn't going to like any of the themes that we picked out because me and my cousins, we were planning on doing this theme, which I don't know if I should say, but yeah, my sister's watching this. Please just skip over this part, okay? Just skip skip over this whole section um we were deciding to do a more chic sophisticated modern like cowgirl theme but the thing is that there's not a lot of decorations for that section so i think we might merge it to be more of like a cowgirl disco theme i think we're sticking with the cowgirl theme i mean i my cousin still hasn't texted me back yet but i just made like a quick mood board for her on canva and Kim has just really been helping me with my sister's wedding planning because it just like allows me to create like so much mood board and allow my cousin and them to like see it instead of sending them like so much links. So yeah, I've just been stressing a lot about that. I talked about in my previous vlog, which was about a little bit about my mental health and stuff. And you guys left some sweet comments and I just want to thank you guys, you know, so much for like the lovely reminders and like um always supporting me and being there for me because i know i'm someone who doesn't like to talk about my feelings often i feel i don't feel embarrassed about like expressing like how i feel but it's like i'm not really good with expressing how i feel uh growing up i just been okay with figuring out things on my own being able to handle it on my own without without having a burden on someone else yeah, i don't like for someone else to worry about my problems because i feel like it's a bothersome to them and i know like i know like my family like wants me to be more open and like especially jeffrey uh, wants me to be more open because i am not open with how i feel like if i do it's like a very rare moment or if it's something that really is affecting me, that's when I actually talk about it. But it's baby steps, you guys. I'm trying to be more open. I feel like some people wouldn't understand where I'm coming from. But it's really hard for some reason. And as a child, like, I've always been so shy, introverted, always to myself. I mean, Jeffrey has really played a huge part about that because he is more social than I am. <laughs> and he expresses more of his feelings whenever we do like argue or like whenever we're just like in the moment but me i'm just like a rock i don't know how to like express my feelings and it's so hard i just can't like i really just physically emotionally cannot express like how i feel without i guess getting emotional about it and then once i get emotional i cry so freaking hard that i can't talk like i'm one of those criers where if i talk like there's no words there's nothing like you just hear a lot of sounds i think i was gonna make dinner because it's already like 7 p.m and the sun is still out it's so weird because we're so used to the, to the sun like setting around like 5 but now it's like setting around like 7, 7 30ish I really want to continue updating you guys with like the wedding planning and like the bridal stuff but man it is so stressful anyways I'm hungry so I'm going to go make some food <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 